Hello and welcome my beautiful, beautiful Capricorns. This is your general tarot reading for October the 28th to November the 3rd. Um, this is, you know, uh, a general, as I had said, not every single card or the energy they carry may resonate with every single Capricorn, but some of it will. So run with it and throw the rest out into the universe. Starting off with your download message, you've been given the card slow and steady wins the race. So I'm seeing that you are now stepping up to the plate and you want to do something, but you've been given this little tug back to say, think about your moves, make mindful choices and decisions before you dive into some new project, some new relationship, a new job, whatever the case is, a move they're telling me you might be relocating, but slow and steady wins the race. This is about planning and making out detailed, uh, detailed plans in order to go forward. Okay, so just know that whatever you're working on, if it hasn't come in ASAP, don't get all bent out of shape. Don't get stressed out because <clears throat> that usually means there's a, it's a process. There's things that need to fall into place and alignment for this to come to fruition. Now, starting off with your first card, you've been given the wolf spirit and it says turn your knowledge into wisdom. Okay, so... Um, Take all that you've learned and all that you are learning right now and own it. Make it yours. You can integrate it in all, all of yourself, your body, your mind, your spirit, all of that. And whenever lessons, you know, we learn along the way, when we receive this card, it advises us to look at everything carefully and examine it. Don't leave things out. Don't fly past things in a big hurry. Remember, slow and steady wins the race. This is about being articulate, creative, so that you can be accurate. Okay, so um, you're truly starting now to become in alignment with your destiny. This is what this is all about. Take the wisdom that you've learned thus far and integrate it into this goal you're working towards this week. With that comes in a really good card, and this is a Queen of Pentacles. This is about moving forward. This is about being able to uh, be, be uh, conscientious and mindful about making business or money decisions. She is an astute businesswoman, okay? She's successful uh, in what she does, but she's also able to put her hands to things. She's like Mother Earth. You know, she's got this green thumb. What she puts her hands to, she sees grow and come to fruition. But it takes time. And again, slow and steady wins a race. She can't plant her seeds and expect them to come to fruition and come to harvest the next day. There's a gestation period, right? Often she's shown in other decks holding this huge pentacle at her abdomen as though she's ready to give birth, but patiently awaiting that new beginning. Coming in, in in the focus part of your reading, you've got the ship. And the ship is about setting sail and going after your goals and doing what you want. And it could be a greater journey coming in for you. It can also mean longing for a love of adventure at this time. Are you wanting to plan a trip? Are you tired of everything that's going on around you physically and emotionally? You may be wanting to just have this respite and get away. Even if it's an overnight stay somewhere in a new environment that takes your mind off of your troubles where they are. If you're able to do that but you're expanding your horizons and looking at things with a new perspective sometimes there's an event in the distant future that could be coming in and wishes uh, and prosperity and trade but it's about patience again this whole reading seems to be about patience and in regard to relationships this card refers to a long-term relationship wait rather than rush something again whatever you're working on this week take your time okay this is about waiting you know often we say we're you know show someone standing on the shoreline waiting looking at a ship in the distance waiting for their ship to come in so this is imminent it's going to come but you must dis demonstrate patience this week waiting i know it's not fun now, the high priestess comes in and says, this, the reason this could be taking time is because you need to get the information, all of it, so that you're able to sit there, cool, calm, and collected like she does with the Akashic Records and the Book of Knowledge on her lap. She's done her homework. She's looked into the background. She's found the secret. She's found the information that she needs. And now she can calmly sit there and plan her future. So this could be what's taking time. There could be inf more information that you need to get your hands on, that you you need to have to go forward to this new uh, journey that you want to go on. In the center position, which could be challenge position, 
and sometimes it brings in great energy. Great match, it says. You are on the verge of finding the perfect work for you. Don't give up. You may need to grow your own business to be truly happy. So again, you know, you're on the verge. You're not there yet, right? So you could be thinking, maybe you're just, it's a mindset right now. I, I don't like my job and I want to move on and I would like to... I would like to try something new. Um, and you may be thinking about wanting to apply for a job or do the research. Maybe some of you are getting job recruiters to help you along the way. Um, th this is a card that says, you know, you're on the verge of finding that perfect job. So keep yourself uh, moving forward and applying for those jobs. Maybe you're going to revise your, your website or you're going to revise your, your uh, resume. Um, or maybe some of you are going to be opening your own business and it's a process. It takes time. So again, don't rush out because you're going to find that if you do everything correctly, you get the information you need, you will get it. It'll come in. Now the Knight of Cups comes in. Love the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is that beautiful card of the puzzle pieces fitting. This can possibly be a proposal. Maybe some of you are going to get a marriage proposal or a business proposal. It could have to do with a wedding. But it's all about beautiful artistic endeavors and events that maybe this individual brings into your life right now. Sometimes when we meet this type of personality, we almost feel like it's a past life, uh, you know, a past life connection. You might be opening your heart to a situation or to a person that's going to be coming into you this week. But remember, stay grounded, okay, during an emotional experience. Don't allow yourself to get caught up in something quickly. Don't fall prey to something fast. Take your time. All things are worth waiting for if you work on them gradually. That's where we learn to grow. We get to see the whole picture in complete clarity to make those choices and decisions successfully. Coming in with your message from your guides uh, and from your angels, you've been given uh, and spirit, you've been given the card, the book. Now, we all know that the book is, you know, it can be, have to do with taking a new course of study. Maybe you're going back to school. Maybe you're writing scholastic exams. You could be writing a book. You could be journaling and scripting. You could be, uh, you know, researching, doing more research uh, to find information that you need to find out. Okay, so... It's about the power of knowledge and receiving that. Remember I said that here about the high priestess. So, you know, the book of knowledge, the book of, of secrets, right? Um, that's what this is all about. Finding things out, doing the research. Now with that, if you do it, look what's coming in. Your happy ever after card. The Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is that beautiful, beautiful card that says things are going to work out in your favor. I mean, I love this card. It's all about, you know, very fulfilling things, long-lasting relationships, feeling safe and protected, but being blessed, being blessed with so much abundance coming in. Um, you know what? This is about you looking out for everybody in your family and them looking out for you right now. It is a card also of unconditional love. So it's total security, knowing that after the storms you've had to deal with, a rainbow is going to come out, and that's where you start to see a new beginning, a brighter day, uh, you know, a promising future, all of those beautiful things. Coming in at the end of the week, possibly Capricorn future energy, you've got the anchor. Now, I've always liked the anchor because the anchor is that card of stability, of being able to put your anchor down and go after uh, once you've received your goals that you know what you want to do you start to realize that you can put your anchor down and feel stability, security, um, you know, that type of thing. Uh, but, you know, the old saying is you can never cross the ocean until you have the courage to lose sight of the shore. So don't be afraid to go after your goals this week. It takes courage and perseverance and endurance in order to have this type of permanence. Um, but you know what? This card also signifies jobs and marriages and other long-term commitments that come with heavy responsibilities. And these life choices mean sacrificing sometimes your freedom, having to go and stick your neck out and do something different and daunting. You know, it is a positive card, though, that means you've reached your goal, too, or you're soon to reach your goal. So it's a sign that you have successfully fulfilled your destination. So waiting, working hard on it, and realizing that, uh, you know, this is going to come into fruition for you right so this is the card that says again if you're articulate creative and accurate you're going to get that so just 
Remember, don't rush. At the end of the reading, look what you get. Not only did you get the Happy Ever After card, but you end up with the Wheel of Fortune. So this is maybe an unexpected turn of events that brings you some really good luck. It's a change for the better, right? Hope for a brighter tomorrow. Um, some of you, because it is a wheel, it, I often refer to it as a travel, uh, any wheeled vehicle, but you could be purchasing a new vehicle as well. Um, it's a card that what goes around comes around, right? And we have, and now you have the ability to celebrate something really good because luck is on your side. Um, it is the slow moving events that are going to suddenly take a leap forward. And great progress is going to be possible. So it's unexpected opportunities, right? That provide you with a chance to see real change in your life for the better. I love these cards, my beautiful Capricorns. Let's see what we've got for clarifiers here. Let's see what we have in addition to this. Beautiful reading of moving forward. As long as you... As long as you take your time and you are getting the information that you need to do this, okay? To implement the accuracy into this new beginning of success coming into you. You have a lot of wisdom like the wolf and you, are, I think, are going to have a great match at the end of the day, either in a relationship or in a job. So let's see what we have here. We're going to cut this deck and see what we have here with our queen of pentacles you've got the page of swords so you're going to hear about some very imperative and important information that could possibly uh uh you know it, it's a challenge but it's a challenge you're ready to meet but it may put a little bit of a delay on your plans if you were ready to do something asap because you need to process this sometimes we hear information that gets dropped in our lap and it might be third party it might be coming from somebody we don't really expect should know this information that's privy only to us um, but don't attack the messenger just get the message it's important it's a new beginning for you it's about being able to see some clarity now coming in with the ship and the high priestess you're moving on this is very evident but it is also the card of balance which means slow and steady wins the race right you're planning it you're not there yet it's taking you time getting all that information being balanced taking yourself to center not rushing okay you want to be organized and logical here coming in with the knight of cups we have that beautiful powerful queen of rods the most confident queen in the deck she is that queen that has struggled to get where she is she's learned from her counter partner the king to go big or go home and not look back not allow other people to deter or distract her okay she wants to go forward she's headstrong now and she just looks all of those doubters in the face that want to talk her out of something and flips on the bird and says you know what watch me coming in with that beautiful message from spirit and the ten of cups you've got a gift card coming in good negotiations back and forth push pull energy possibly negotiating with others debating with others discussing in in in, in conversation maybe it's business um maybe it has to do with a legal issue but this is fair and just okay if the, the table is clear and and fair now but you could be receiving something of generosity somebody could be giving you time effort support or maybe even investing in something you're doing in a financial way you could be doing this for someone else as well so it is a card of generosity okay now coming in at the very end with the wheel of fortune and stability in the anchor you've got a beautiful new opportunity presenting itself the ace of pentacles is that card of wonderful energy coming in so it is the beginning of that, okay? It's, it could be a new business. It could be a business contract or document that you might be subjected to signing. But it's also the card of good health, all over well-being, spiritual, mental, emotional, and physical for some of you. And you're going to be focusing big time on results that seem to be coming your way. It's a card of good luck and hope for the future. You're feeling very blessed, okay? This is the beginning of a wonderful new uh, event or endeavor. A windfall of resources is coming your way. Okay, so this is beautiful, especially when it lands on the stability of the anchor and the Wheel of Fortune. Well, my beautiful Capricorns, this is an amazing reading, and I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic, healthy, happy, prosperous, and successful week. And always know I stand in this circle of love and light for you, and I'll see you soon, my beautiful Capricorns.